Hey guys, I feel like I'm so shitty at vlogging now because I'm just, I'm really out of practice with it. Um, today I pretty much like I trained and then I came home and I've just been sitting on my computer working and then I went out for a walk again and I really, like, I really need to wash my hair. It's been like a week. It's just so gross right now, but whatever. I thought I'd give you guys a little update about my PCOS, how everything's going with that. So it's been... A few months actually since I made that first video. I was meaning to do one every month and then I got busy and Japan happened and all this sort of stuff. Um, basically a little update, I went back for more tests so I had like an internal ultrasound and I had another uh, blood test, words, it's it's like 8.30 at night so it's like my bedtime. Oh it's 9 o'clock. Um, with the updated blood test, good thing is that I have lower my, lowered my triglyceride level. Even though I'm on like a low carb, quite high fat diet. Um, and I do have a fair amount of calories per day on the days that I add it up because I am training so much. Um, I keep saying arm and it's because I'm tired. I'm sorry. But that's good. So my triglycerides are lower and they're actually lower than the bracketed range as well, which I think is awesome. Um, my free testosterone levels have halved in two months. Well, that was, I got that blood test done about, it's probably about a month ago now, to be honest, or it was just before I left for Japan. So yeah, roughly a month, five weeks, something like that. So hopefully that's still going where it needs to be going. Um, update on internally, I do have like growths going on on my ovaries, but there's not enough that are big enough for them to actually operate or anything. So I guess for me, it's about like, eating as well as I can eat and doing as much as I can do to keep them, you know, as calm as it can be. And my skin, you can probably see, like, there's like a breakout there and uh, it's not so bad. It's a lot of discoloration though because it was, like, horrendous. Um, I'll chuck a clip here while I'm talking. It got really, really bad and it got um, quite painful again, exactly what it did last year and the year before that. Um, I'm glad it's cleared up a lot. It's not quite, where, like it'll clear up further, but I'm hoping that the permanent change in diet will help to fix that because I mean, before that every year it was breaking out and I didn't know what was what it was causing. Like I thought other things were causing it when I'm pretty sure it was the PCOS all along because my sister has it as well and she started getting bad skin too, but hers is cleared up as well now. And when I was in Japan, I if you missed my Japan vlog, I snapped a ligament in my ankle, so the one on the front of your ankle, and I haven't been able to train properly in about a month. Like just as of last week, I've been starting to get back into training twice a day again. So it's more gentle stuff. I'm having to adapt some exercises, but I'm doing a lot of rehab things for my ankle as well. I'm gonna try and take my camera in the morning because today sucked, like today was a write off. I was just working on the computer all day and you can't, like it sucks to vlog that, it's boring. Um, so I'll probably take the camera with me to the gym again in the morning. I'll show you some of the rehab stuff I'm doing for my ankle and whatever training I'm doing in the morning as well. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm also gonna touch on the supplements that I'm using. I mean, obviously I can't go and tell you guys, take this. I'm just gonna share with you what I am currently taking, what's currently working for me. And I'm thinking with each of these PCOS vlogs, I'm gonna focus on a different thing. Like, so maybe in the next one, if you want, like leave me a comment and let me know and I can do kind of like what I ate in a day sort of. Thing, but for this one, um, I'll just show you guys my training and talk about my supplements. But it is definitely too late for me to keep sitting here talking and I look feral <laughs> right now. So I'm gonna go to bed and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's like 5 a.m. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of concealer because I don't want red dots in my face. Um, so I figured today I'll talk about like supplements and stuff like that. So usually in the morning is when I'll take most of them. First up, I like to start with a prebiotic. So this one is like a super prebiotic type thing and it's from Grasses of Life. With PCOS, you can have a lot of gut issues and it can lead to leaky gut. Um, if you don't know what that is, that can eventually lead to like food intolerances. So that's why I see um, a lot of women with PCOS also start to get either like lactose intolerance or gluten intolerance or something like that. Like if your body starts to become intolerant to a food that it wasn't intolerant to before, usually an indication of something being wrong with your gut. And that would explain why before I knew that I had PCOS, like all of a sudden 
I became really badly gluten intolerant. If you are taking a probiotic, it's worth taking a prebiotic as well because taking a probiotic without a prebiotic isn't really going to get you as far as you could get. Um, in the mornings as well, I like to have aloe vera juice powder. It's by the same company, but aloe vera juice powder mixed in with a little bit of water. I only use about 300 milliliters of water because that's all you need. I'm just going to quickly look up um, which vitamins are in the aloe vera juice powder because there's no way I can just rattle it off the top of my head. Um, vitamins A, B1, B2, B3, B6, B12, C, E, and folic acid. Um, one of the other supplements that I've been taking regularly is dandelion root. Dandelion root is, sorry if you can hear that in the background, it's like ducky. Dandelion root is uh, really good for making sure that your blood glucose level is stabilized. And it's also good for reducing bloating and water retention, which can be, you know, a big problem in women. Like a lot of women start to get bloating, especially in that like lower belly area. Another one that I've been taking is DIM. Like the full name is massive. I'll write it on the screen for you guys. Um, it's commonly sold under the name Indoplex. Well, in Australia it is anyway. So DIM is used to saturate the tissues in your body essentially to block your androgen receptors and that means it'll inhibit the protein synthesis that's happened and that is introduced by androgens so it's pretty much just to help stabilize your hormones and get them where they need to be um i've also been having spearmint tea twice a day if i can it's so hard now that it's hot here in australia um because we're coming into summer and where i live summer gets really hot um, so having a hot tea isn't really that great. Um, I've been trying to like cool it down and have it as a cold drink instead, but I don't know. It's not that great. Oh, and obviously I still take my normal supplements like, you know, iron and stuff like that. But I thought it was probably just worth mentioning the PCOS kind of related ones because otherwise we'd be sitting here forever. So today I'm going to go train and then... I'm getting my back tattooed, like my entire back. So, that will be interesting. What time do you guys usually wake up? Like, lately I've been waking up at like 4am. And so I'm used to it and I think it's kind of normal. But I think I, uh, my body just kind of wakes up when the sun is up. eating anything. And just having an omelet kind of situation for breakfast. Okay, so the reason that I didn't get to wrap up that vlog yesterday is because I, well, because I got my entire back tattooed, but also because I forgot to tell you guys at the end of this month, I'm going to go see a doctor and he's like a Chinese herbalist, acupuncturist, all that sort of stuff. If I can take my camera in to vlog, then I will. I'm not sure if I can though, it's probably a bit weird. Um, if not, I'll give you guys an update afterwards anyway. And if you do want me to do that food diary sort of thing in the next PCOS vlog, leave me a comment. That's so easy for me to do. I can just film my meals for you guys and tell you what's in them. Of course, it'd probably only be like one or two days worth, but at least it'll give you an idea. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, hit subscribe. I'm gonna continue this sort of series every, I'm gonna try, like I wanted to try and do every month. We'll see how we go. I'll try and keep it regular for you guys though. Catch you next time, bye.